I call forth the powers of my animal spirit and guide, the cockatiel, who represents friendship and love and harmony and partnership. The cockatiel represents making your own music and always telling the truth and communicating honestly. Animals don't lie. And when birds talk to each other, they don't lie to each other. They always tell the truth. So we embrace this small creature as the symbol of freedom, justice, hope, and good communication. Thank you, Samson, and thank you for joining us with our spell. Please keep an eye out for us. Make sure we're doing a good job. Owl. Bat. Scorpion. Snake. Owl. Bat. Scorpion. Snake. Owl, bat, scorpion, snake, guard the circle that I make by the powers of this witch and by these animal forces, guard this circle, so mote it be. I bless and purify this wine in the name of the union of the god and the goddess that represents the phallus and the womb and that this spell will be complete and be answered by the higher calling of the universe. As I drink of this wine, may it be a completion and celebration and a time to rejoice, so would it be. I cleanse and purify this sacred space in the name of the loving air of knowledge and the goddess Saravati who cleanses our mind and gives us knowledge and talent, communication, verbal understanding, we call upon you now. I light this candle that represents my energy, my magic, my intention to help other people from Robert and Elizabeth. This will be the flame that lights all flames, so would it be. By the powers of east, air, knowledge, and communication, I bring light to air. By the powers of south and passion and desire, I bring light to light. By the powers of west and of water and of the moon of the psychic energy, I bring forth light to water. By the powers of the earth and the northern lights and the great beast, I bring light to earth. I call forth thee now. Earth thy body, water thy blood, air thy breath, and fire thy spirit. Earth thy body, water thy blood, air thy breath, and fire thy spirit. Earth thy body, water thy blood, air thy breath, and fire thy spirit. Earth thy body, water thy blood, air thy breath, and fire thy spirit. Earth thy body, water thy blood, air thy breath, and fire thy spirit. We summon thee. O oh, ancient spirits of life and of goodness, I honor you, Diana, and ask that you join us tonight and bring us justice and communication. We honor the great spirit. We honor air, fire, water, earth. We honor and invoke you, O oh, gracious mother and father God. The gracious union between you two creates the existence of the universe and all mankind, all living things that everything is the birth of the goddess and seated by the father of the universe. Please join us now, as thou wilt, so mote it be. Embrace the goddess Diana, 
as queen of the witches, witches being wise woman healer of time, goddess Diana created the world of her own being, having in itself a seed of creation yet to come. It is said that on herself is divine into darkness and delight, keeping herself darkness and creation and light at the same time, swirling in motion day and night. She is the goddess of the day and goddess of the night. She is the huntress, queen of the wood, queen of communication. Her arrows are on target. She always speaks the truth. She upholds justice. I ask you forgiveness for anything that I've done and to help me and grant me your power. I worship thee and honor thee, O gracious mother and ask that you join me this night and by the powers of this white candle that represents your divine spirit and of the moon. Honor maiden huntress, Artemis, Artemis, new moon come to us. Silver shining wheel of radiance, radiance, mother, come to us. Honor queen of wisdom, Hecate, Hecate, old one, come to us. Silver shining wheel of radiance, radiance, mother, come to us. I light this black candle that represents breaking the chains of sorrows, being bound to someone, feeling like a prisoner. This freedom spell is cast in a circle of light, rhymed to take flight. While my body sleeps, let my spirit soar, leave this home and free free once more. Break what holds my soul to me, with this rhyme I am free. And I send energy to Robert and Elizabeth that they are free from people that make them feel in bondage. That jobs that make them feel like they're in bondage. Relationships that make people feel like they're in bondage. Society. Yourself. I call forth thee now. And I break the chains of sorrow that bind and hold you together that change you to sorrow I break the chains and give life and freedom to Elizabeth the truth will set you free there is no energy to lie or deceive when it comes to the matters of the heart you are free as the dove flying from the nest. We ask the goddess to bless this nest. And I've actually found this nest out of falling out of a tree and I took it. I feel like it was such a gift from the goddess because it represents the home. It represents bringing peace and comfort to people. It represents a unity between two people. This bond, which was not meant to be the bondage of society give us the power to be set free to see what is undone and turn back time from which it was began that mistakes were happened things were said that was, shouldn't have been said all is healed now all is healed now we invoke the goddess all is healed now all is healed now we invoke thee we invoke thee O gracious goddess we asked that all the pain that's held inside from the outside world will no longer hide. All the problems trapped in here, I no longer live in fear. These troubles that have pain inside have no hold on me anymore. We call upon thee. We call upon thee and bless these two people who are so much in love. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill this picture up with herbs and some spices and wrap it and make it create two hearts that are bound together. Now, we're trying to set you free and give truth and wisdom, but there's some there are some entanglements that are like two hearts that are chained together forever. You're you're, you know, being a slave of love, that's a good thing. And so we're kind of turning the net, being felt like you're in bondage to being free, but really being tied with that person forever. So um, until the next step, just hold on. I'll be right back. Thank you. I ask that all negative energies be rebuked. 
I ask that the chains of sorrows be broken. I ask that the sacred space be healed and filled with positive energy. I call forth thee now and command it to be so. I've got the herbs and the enchantments that's written on the back. And I have some carnations that represent eternal love and a lot of sea salt and other herbs that promote good communication. Now, I don't really want to damage this photo, but I do want to make two hearts that will be bond together. The other chains of sorrows have been broken, but now we weave a new chain. The chain of immortality. The chain that goes on forever. But we also tie these two people together. I call upon the power that is within me. I draw forth the strength and the knowledge and the charisma and the confidence that Elizabeth and Robert can hold their own, that they could speak their truth. I use the power to make this spell invulnerable to cruel, cruelness of word and action and adversity. I send the power of the blessing to bring out the good nature within Elizabeth and Robert that they have no need to hide any secrets anymore. That the truth shall set them the truth shall shall set them free and be as one to nest together to be together within the home to bring love and light. They are in calm and control of their emotions. They will rely on faith on each other. They have the power to heal this relationship with smile and radiance and no drama. The nest represents their home and security. I call forth those ancient powers to grant me this boon to finally reunite these two people after so much hard work. Please answer the call and deliver and bring truth, love, and light to this relationship. So would it be. And to these cards, I direct great powers, powers that are drawn from me, and powers that come from higher supernatural realms. By the power of this witch's blood and life and heart, give power to this spell, to shape the spell I cast, with this vision that knows my need, I ask for love's enchantment with all speed. May this work for me in the most correct way and bring Elizabeth and Robert together and forever each and every day. These cards will be a timeline of what's about to happen and will happen. Reaching into the subconscious mind, I give power and strength to this spell. This first card represents the magician. The strength, the witch, the strength and power to the spell, the one who's conducting the forces of nature in the spiritual realm. The next card represents the spell that we're doing right now. It represents the present and an immediate change. The Empress represents the goddess is a very healing and powerful mother, and she doesn't want her children to be hurt. So, the most important thing to do is to allow the goddess to do her motherly duties and not to worry anymore. Everything will happen according to plan. All is well. Thank you, Mother, for healing us. The next card is represents Elizabeth. She has been distraught. She gets upset, but somehow, some way, this man always comforts her. He is the king of chalices, the counterpart to her because she sees him as husband and wife already in her heart. He is gentle, he's kind, he's great with kids. It represents a complete blessing and joy. The chalice, nine of chalices represents the, uh, the wish that she gets is granted unto her. It's like a birthday wish. And everybody has a wish. And this is what Elizabeth wants. She wants a com complete union with Robert. She wants them to move back in together with each other. She wants to spend personal time 
and to sl things to slow down so she can enjoy the moment. Her having one-on-one -on -one time with him, we summon him to her. We give her the strength and the, and the blessings that her deepest wish may be swiftly obtained. We call upon freedom. We call upon desire. We call upon good communication. These things that we ask are not impossible, and they happen every single day. By the energy that is brought and drawn from me, I ask most humbly to bring good word and good message. No lies, no deceit, telling the truth because the heart will be free. We call upon thee and the powers of the moon and of time. Elizabeth being rejuvenated, feeling beautiful, feeling luxurious, living in bliss. He hearing the wedding bells, seeing that happen for her, seeing it happen, because now is the present, looking towards the future, we call upon thee, we call upon thee, the powers of change, the wheel of time, the powers of the ancestors. We call upon thee now. We summon thee now. So mote it be, amen. So mote it be, amen. Visualize it, Elizabeth. Visualize it happening for you. See it happening for you. And the chalice is the final card that represents a toast of celebration that all will be complete. That it has already happened in the future in another space, time, and dimension. I drink of you, O gracious goddess, and asked that you drink with me. in this joyous time. Accept this offering. Accept this spell. And let it be complete. Let the powers of air, fire, water, and earth we summon thee by the powers of the sun, we draw down it to us. By the powers of the moon, we bring it and draw it down to us. The spell is sealed. This love is real. Honor is the law. Love is a bond. So mote it be. I close this circle by the powers of north and earth and of the northern lights and the great beast of the forest I thank you and bid you farewell and take my spell with thee by the powers of west and of water and of the moon of the rising the moon and the setting sun and the psychic energy of life and of goodness bring forth happiness, bring forth peace, so mote it be, so mote it be, by the powers of south and of fire, I ask that you take thy spell with thee, by the powers of east and of air, I ask you to take thy spell with thee, Earth, water, fire, and earth. Earth thy body, water thy blood, air thy breath, and fire thy spirit. So would it be. So would it be. So would it be. This spell is complete. May God bless you, Elizabeth. May this spell work in your favor. 
somewhere.